so I've been trying to keep my shiitake blocks dormant because I don't want them all to fruit at the same time but as you can see maybe even in the refrigerator eventually they do what they want to do it looks like they're wanting to fruit now I can only use so many mushrooms at once and I try not to make a whole bunch all at one shot so they don't all come ready to fruit at the same time but looks like I'm gonna have to fruit them and then uh, either saute them and freeze them or dry them I've been doing both so that's what happens when you try make them not fruit for a while I guess it worked for a little bit I suppose about a month they've been kind of dormant but now now they just uh, they refuse to stay dormant anymore so I'll have to get them out and put them in my fruiting chamber and reap the rewards put them into storage and in my fruiting chamber right now I have some night velvet shiitake mushrooms you can see that it's not fruiting a whole lot but the fruits that it does have many of them are pretty good sized nearly as well as the uh, commercial 37 to 82 that I have been growing lately but I like to try different things once in a while so but I try this and I really do like the way they look but it just didn't pin very well so of course there's not a whole lot of fruits but I'm still pretty happy with it. Now the 3782 usually sets a lot of fruits on it, but they're much smaller. They're probably about half of this size. But because there's so many, the actual weight adds up. And I've been getting, oh, anywhere from one and three quarter pounds to two pounds on my first flush for the 3782 shiitake. So that's what I have going on in the fruiting chamber right now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel.